Welcome back, everybody. I'm back, y'all. I'm back. I'm back. Let's do a video. Let's do a video on what's going on with the masculine in the gourmet. Yeah, let's buy. Let's be nosy. I'm just trying to get this together. Okay. So, what's going on with the masculine and the karmic? Let's start with these bad boys. All right. Tell me what's going on with the masculine and the karmic. I know it done been a few days, but I had a massive amount of personal readings to do. I had to catch up, so I'm back in here. All right, let's do it. What's going on with the masculine and the karmic? All right, so somebody is wearing a mask. Oh, somebody wearing a mask because somebody, we got seduction and wedding right here. So someone could be married or already in a relationship, but they have a third party. They're wearing a mask to this third party. So I feel like this is the masculine here wearing this mask from the karmic. Whenever he's around the karmic. All right. And then we got mirror. Okay, so mirroring each other, self-image, relationship reflected, reflect our wounds and introspection. And at the bottom, we got stabbed in the back and the sword and the rose. So if the truth was to ever get out, this karmic is going to feel completely betrayed, okay? So this is for someone who is possibly married or has been in the connection or they're they're playing um they're having their cake and eat it too okay that's what i'm seeing but i feel like maybe both are karmic and the masculine they're mirroring each other at this time both being fake and wearing a mask okay so what is what else girl with the snake and then at the bottom, y'all, let's trip, let me trip you out now. We got the girl with the snake, and at the bottom, we got the snake. And the snake got the key to this karmic's heart, okay? So this karmic is in real big shit here. It's going to take her a while to heal after once this go down. Once all of this crumbles, all of this falls apart, it's going to take her a while to heal because she don't know that this masculine got a handful of cards and he not showing his hand but i tell you he's wearing a mask this masculine definitely wearing this mask um i do want to see more why mira is here if they're mirroring each other but she's the girl with the snake so that means that she is an enabler she don't got no boundaries you see this girl just sitting here letting this snake wrap itself around her. He getting ready to eat the hell out of her. Like, and she don't know that this masculine got a handful of cards. And when he play, when he finish with her, when he gets on her, she gonna have to go through the healing process, boop, boop. Because he definitely a snake. He definitely a snake. Mm. Mm, mm. Okay, let's see. Tell me more about this masculine and karma. Tell me more about this masculine. What's going on with this masculine? going on with this masculine and this karmic. All right. 
shades. So this masculine is moving very slow, but he's he's moving slow because he's um, in hermit mode. Like he's trying to figure something out. Like he's in a thought process. Okay. Because we got him moving real, real slow. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. They move slow, especially when Capricorns and Virgo energy here with the Hermit. We got the Three of Pentacles, yeah. Third party, Ace of Pentacles. Now, this masculine could be focused on um, what he's benefiting. He's trying to figure out what he's getting from the connection. Okay, how is this benefiting him? He's looking for, he's in this for the benefits. Three of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. This is benefits, okay? This is also um, a third party, being involved in a third party. Nine of Cups, I told you, he wants the benefits. Okay, he wants his cake and eat it too. King of Wands. He fine as hell too. He fine. He got, he may be popular. I see him trying to find a way to close this chapter, but he's thinking about if I close this chapter, how could I still benefit from it? This karmic, y'all, she at her wit's end with the Ten of Wands. She burnt out. Do you hear me? Burnt out. It's a lot of pentacles here. Eight of Pentacles. It's a lot of Pentacles here. We got the Empress as the outcome. Now, I'm definitely going to have to clarify that. Because I want to see why is he moving so slow. Tell me more about this energy here. Why is he moving so slow? Because he's indecisive. He's not sure if he even want to be. He he don't know who he want to be with. He don't know who he want to be with. He don't know. So he moving slow. He don't know. All right, so... That's why he's trying to figure out. That's why his challenge is the hermit because he needs to be reevaluated. Okay, so let's see what's going on. He's not sure who you want to be with. He's not sure where you want to be. Mm, he's thinking about ending it. He's thinking about ending this connection. I'm hearing him say, I'm not going to tell her I love her. I'm not going to tell her I love her as much. I'm kind of going to kind of like pull back from telling her I love her. Why the three of pentacles is here? The fool. This masculine could be wanting to start a business or he may have just got a new job. But I'm getting somebody being forced to do something. Like, forced being pushed to do something that they don't want to do. And I'm telling you, he he doesn't. He does not want to tell this karmic that he loves her. Like, I'm getting kind of like he's trying to pull back from doing it. Why is the fool here? Eight of Wands. So there's talks about a new job or starting a business together, okay? Together. But this karmic could be coming at him, could be coming at him about that because I see him being uncertain, you know? Yeah, I'm hearing talking to his friends about it. Okay, so I'm hearing talking to his friends. He's communicating with his friends about starting a business. Okay, 
this is what's going on. This is what it is. He's talking to his friends about starting a business, and he's going to he's planning on getting the money to do that from the karmic here. Oh, I'm hearing love to push her, love to push her around, love to push her around. Start an argument and then it get resolved easily. So I'm hearing like this masculine, he love to push this karmic around. He love it. He he loves doing it. It's like yeah, I, I feel like <laughs> I told you it's about resources. Okay, it's about resources. This masculine, he wants to start some type of business. Um, start something from scratch. I'm hearing, and I'm hearing him communicating with his friends about it, like talking with his friends about, yeah, how we gonna get started. Yep, King of Pentacles. Tell you, he want to start a business. Okay, I'm hearing. It seemed like at first he was telling the truth, but then he thought about it that. Um, he missed somebody from his past. We got the Queen of Cups and the Six of Cups and the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. He's been thinking about somebody from his past. So he's making the karmic feel all, you know, feel all like she's his everything when really he's thinking about somebody from his past. It's just that the person... It's just that he's trying to get over. Okay, we got six cups in the in the um chariot. He's trying to get over somebody from the past, but they still got issue. He still got an issue. They got unfinished business. And he still loved this person from the past. King Cups and the Lovers. So this is what this is really what's on his mind. Okay, so he could be trying to use this karmic to get ahead to impress this person from the past that he that he's trying that you know that's still on his mind now we got the nine of cups here in the past energy i'm here and wish i would have waited wish i would have waited so he's wishing that he would have waited to make this decision to build this karmic because now he don't really know he don't even he's unsure about the connection And he's, start, and he's juggling, I told you. He don't found somebody new, possibly online. Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, okay? He done found somebody new that he's, you know, could possibly be taking action towards. I feel he wants to end this connection with this world card here. He's contemplating on it, but he's thinking about resources. I feel like he is something here about regretting closing a chapter. Okay, so this Queen of Cups keeps popping out. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be, it could be any sign. But there's regrets that he's having about, he's thinking about this heavily. I feel like this person that he's thinking about from his past, they're both mirroring each other. So that's the mirror energy. King of Swords, Queen of Swords. He's being mean to her. She's being mean to him. So for my Divine Feminists that are watching this, this is how he looks at, at you guys' connection. Like y'all both mirroring each other. Y'all both being cold to each other. Like y'all both are being like the coldest to each other. This karmic could be a Leo. We got the strength card here, but sh this karmic feels overworked. Like too, like she feels burning. Look, she's tired. She's tired of all the back and forth. She's tired of all the running around. She's tired of the, of the on again, off again of this connection. She wants a break. She wants to see some changes. I'm here and give me my change back. So when she goes to the store or they go wherever, he's keeping a change. Um, she, I'm here, and I knew he was gonna do it. She a little seemed like she a little slow. Watch the strength card here. 
tower. Things are falling apart. She, she just feels so overwhelmed. She's tired of the way things are going, and she, but she's still hanging on the hope. She's still hanging on the hope, but I feel like she's hoping that his finances stay in a messed up place because then he's gonna always need her. Now we got the Eight of Pentacles here, so he's trying to make some changes. Yep, he's getting ready to make some changes. I see him telling for some, I'm just getting like somebody's married. But I'm hearing that this Carmen could want the full fledged. She wants the whole shebang. She wants to get engaged. She wants to get married. But I'm getting that this masculine, like, how I'm going to do that? Because, cause, listen, his intuition telling him to leave. His intuition is telling him to leave. It done got way too serious. And also, he feels like he's not man enough. Okay? Because, first, first of all, he's doing a whole bunch of back and forth for one. We got the Four of Cups and the Emperor. He does not feel like he's the man for her. Um, anyways, Oh, I mean, she gives him good, some good sex. Okay, so she's she's giving him she's giving him the gop gop three thousand over there. Okay, <laughs> she's over there doing the most. Okay, but he's I feel like he still doesn't feel like it's enough. Okay, but I, I feel like other than that, that's the only thing that's stopping him from from leaving the resources and sex. He still has somebody from his past that he's thinking about, and he's still pursuing other people. Now, the outcome is the Empress and the Moon. That's, that's, that's that. He's trying to keep her as the side piece. Four of Pentacles, Moon, and the Empress. He's trying to keep her a secret, keep her on, keep her on the team. And I feel like even if he goes off and deals with something somebody else he wants to keep her in the loop he does not feel like he's the one for her he does not feel like he is the man for her but he just want to see what she think about um if he asks her that so that looks like that's going to be a topic of discussion um because he's ready to he's ready to quit he's ready to quit you already over here wishing that he would have waited. All right, so that's what I got, guys. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, and I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.